We're gonna try a new setup today, uh, back in my room, so let's see how this goes. CT Karaoke, the gaming channel. Welcome YouTubers, it is vlogging day, and yes, I know I didn't post a video yesterday because it was actually because you guys wanted a Twitch stream. Yes, due to fan demand, I decided to do a bonus stream, so as a result, I had to delay the vlog for one extra day, but it's okay. We still do the vlogs every week. I'm not letting go of that. So I love comic books. I've mentioned it so many times, and I've even promoted it whenever I talk about this channel. But one question I always get asked a lot is, Corey, how do you get into comics? Because there's so many different stories and characters out there, it does get intimidating, and I totally get it. First of all, while I've owned comic books since I was a little kid, I didn't gradually start reading them until I was around 18. So in my first year of college is when I more or less took comic books seriously. I read The Killing Joke, Watchmen, Cable and Deadpool, Sam and Max, Bone, and Hellboy. Six different comics in my very first year of college. Since then, I've always been on and off because I generally don't always have time to sit down and read so many issues, but when I finally do get the chance, yes, I do get hooked. I get hooked instantly. But even then, I wasn't always sure what I was supposed to be reading because yes, it is intimidating. There's so many comics out there. Where do you start? First, let's get this factor out of the way. Comic books does not equal superheroes. I know a lot of people think that's just generally how it is because there's so many Marvel and DC movies and so many superhero movies, but they're not the only comic books out there. There are comic books with characters that don't even have superpowers. Even one of my all-time favorite comic books doesn't use any supernatural natural abilities whatsoever. Well, I mean, other than the plot device, which makes sense, but it sticks to the realism. Comics are a form of art. You don't just see pictures with text boxes or dialogue boxes. They can go even further in depth. They can tell stories that you can't normally see on another book or stuff you can't see on a movie. It's a different form of a medium. So in order to give that appreciation to the comic books, First, you have to figure out what you like. There are generally two ways of doing this. The first way is recommendation lists. Now, there are so many recommendation lists for every character. I'm sure there's like at least 100 for Spider-Man alone of all different stories throughout the decade that you can just look up find the story and then start reading. And these are generally the easiest because they're already recommended by big comic book fans. So right from the get-go, they can explain to you why they are picking that story. The second way, and the one I think is the best way, is to go to your local comic book store and look for them yourself. It is intimidating at first because you'll see so many different graphic novels, toys, mangas, books all across and obviously it is a lot to take in but it becomes very easy to understand because first of all there's already staff there i'm sure there are probably employees that work in the comic book store that can easily help you out even if you've never touched the comic book in your life generally the latest issues are very much organized so you can pretty much figure out what is what this is this section's marvel this section's dc this section is image or dark horse it's very easy to pick out and generally the best way to find the comics you like is to just look through the issues look through the covers and then you might just grab one start glancing at the pages and if you like it then buy it i started collecting comic books this way when i started doing them weekly and before i knew it i was collecting at least 15 to 25 comics I was amazed like when I first went into Midtown Comics I didn't even know what I wanted to get and then I came back and there was stuff every single week I wanted to read. Of course this is literally not all at once obviously these comic books come out in different weeks. Um, for most most of the time comic books come out once a month or once every two weeks so you should be able to keep up with a good pattern of it and if you do forget I mean you can always just go into the back issues that most comic book stores have because they always have a giant section for all back issues. You can just search through the piles. And it doesn't just have to be for comic books. You can do it for mangas too. There are plenty of mangas to just search and read and pick one that you like the best. Let's get this idea that gamers don't read comic books. Cause you know what? This gamer reads comic books 
and this gamer encourages you to read comic books. Thank you for watching, be sure to subscribe and support me on any social media you can see on the bottom description. And I stream every week on Twitch and I post two videos every week on YouTube. And I will see you guys Friday with our Just Dance video and what, uh, Thursday, no Thursday, Thursday with our Dance Central stream. See you guys then. Bye.